guest this evening. It can be seen at the Comedy Works in Denver, Colorado, February 21st through the 23rd. So check him out. Please welcome a very funny man, Jake Johansson. Hi, uh, thanks very much. I uh, feel pretty good. Uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, can't. It's been uh, kind of a while uh, since I've had sex, uh, <laughs> which is uh, causing a lot of tension among my pets. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Not, 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 not that I, I would have sex with my pets, but uh, they don't know that. Uh, and, you know, they, it, they sense the vibe and they pick up on it. Um, so I, I, I've got that, that's going bad. And then now I'm, I'm doing my taxes right now. I don't know if you're working on your tax. I, I, I can't take the whole, I don't mind paying the taxes. I just feel like if they know how much I owe them, tell me. Uh, and, I, and I'll write a check, you know. Because uh, every year I gotta gather everything together. That's what I can't, I can't deal with a big math problem. You know, you get it all, you figure it all out, and then you send it in to them like, did I get it right? <laughs> and, uh, and if you're wrong, you have to go to prison. Uh, which, yeah, that seems harsh uh, to me for a quiz. Uh, I, I could see if they wanted to hold me back a year. Uh, but uh, I... And I can't, I don't even do the taxes myself. I, it's, it's beyond me now. I, I go to the accountant, you know, and uh, I know he doesn't really know how to do the taxes either. <laughs> Accounting is really more acting than it is anything else. They act like they know what they're doing while you're sitting there. And as soon as you leave, you know the guy's like, I don't know. As soon as I hit the door, I'm sure he just throws everything in a room with a monkey and a little dog, you know, and they, just a dog and a tutu dancing around on its back feet, you know, while the monkey chases him with a horn, honk, 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 honk. and uh, his, his assistant watches with goggles and a protractor, and somehow that's how they determine your tax. Um, and then, that part's a mystery, and because what I get then from the accountant is a pile like this thick of tax, because I have to file, every state I work in, then I have to file taxes, yeah, it's an ass whooping. And, uh, <laughs> I, I just feel like I should pay one state, like I should just pay California and then they would square up with the other states, you know, <laughs> behind the barn or something. And uh, <laughs> so he sends me the pile of taxes this thick and then he always puts a letter on top that says, uh, hey, uh, look these over. <laughs> you know, before you send them in, like, yeah, I'll check them. <laughs> um, <laughs> look them. He, 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 he knows I'm not going to look him over. He has to put little pieces of tape with arrows where I'm supposed to write my name, you know, so... <laughs> he knows I'm not checking. I just go right to the tape and <laughs> mail him off. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I, I feel a huge sense of self-esteem that it was my idea to take the pieces of tape off, you know, before I... <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and don't put any Hello Kitty stickers on there either. Uh, but, uh, so... What, I just want the taxes to get simpler, you know? Every year they got some new plan to make it more complex, you know? Like uh, last year, I read, I read in the paper they had an article, they had this idea that they were gonna tax frequent flyer miles. Did you read that? It's a, it's, it's a mile. <laughs> it's, it's not a dollar. I mean, what kind of decoder wheel do you use on that? To, to, I, they don't even bother to worry about that, the government, how they're going to figure it out. You know, they're like little kids. They just see me getting something, and they're like, well, I want a mile. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I, I, I guess I'll get some free trip to New York City, and I'll have to get off in Ohio. You know, <laughs> and uh, some government guy will get on to go the rest of the way. To have a good time in the Big Apple. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much. Okay. Thanks very much for doing it. Jake Del Hansen, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. We're back, everyone. I'm sitting here with a very funny man, Jake Johansson. That was hysterical. 
Thanks for stopping by and doing Thank that you. for us. Well, I, it's my, I had a good time, too. Oh, good, good. I'm glad. No. You can't tell because you, you seem, uh, you know, you're, you're just a jittery guy. That's, uh, and, and I know you're, you're, you got the taxes on your mind, which you oh. mentioned over there. I can't, I can't believe it. First of all, you know, the frequent flyer. You know, if they're going to tax frequent flyer, why don't they tax my free coffee refills? You know, at breakfast, by the way, there's a little warm up and there's your form 1783. <laughs> um, I but I don't mind paying the taxes. That's, I don't mind paying, you know, because I know they're, they're building a big bomb. And, uh, I, uh, Which we can all feel good about. Absolutely. We make the best bombs. That's the thing about the U.S. of A. Uh -huh. we, we make the best bomb, rocket, missile, launcher, what, you mm -hmm. know, it'd be nice if we could make a, a VCR. Uh, <laughs> Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm allowed to own those. Um, but uh, I, the, the thing is, I, I don't mind paying the taxes. You know they're building bombs, right? Because the roads suck. Um, but uh, then they want to cut things. Then, then all the time they want to cut stuff that I like. Like PBS, remember they were going to cut PBS? Yeah, they go while? after that and say we've got to cut the funding for public broadcasting. It's the politicians, you know. They, we elect them and they figure it out for us. Yeah, it's, that's Barney is dragging us into the poorhouse. You know, we got to... <laughs> Stop that Barney. It's Barney, you know, it's not the two billion dollar invisible plane that we can all see. Uh, uh, you know, they, well, they, they get it in their head that it's Barney. You know, mm -hmm. I love you, you love me. Hey, horse uh, manure. That's it's Get your hand off my wallet, you lizard. Um, I, don't, that's, I don't know if you ever watch uh, Barney. I've seen him here and there, yeah. It's hard to imagine they're wasting a lot of money on that show. Uh, if the 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 bar the, <laughs> the, bar the Barney suit is is it's like a purple blanket, you know. And yeah. he doesn't even have individual teeth, Barney. I don't know if you've noticed. He has like one big chopper. Kind of. And uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to cut Barney. It seems like the only way they could have made a cheaper Barney outfit is if it was just a guy in a paper hat with the word dinosaur written on it, you know? <laughs> that's what they'll go to, I'm sure. That's next, It's just yeah. a matter of time before oh. they're at that level. Oh, oh, this is all very sad. I'm sorry. But let me bring up the good news, which is that people can see you at the Comedy Works in Denver, Colorado, February 21st through the 23rd. And anyone who saw you tonight here, you are hysterical, will see you there, I'm sure. And it'll be longer. <laughs> more That's elaborate. right. That's right. Um, and I won't be there. Maybe I will. I'll fly more, out and just laugh. Welcome. Yeah. Jake, thank you very thank much. You, that was hysterical. Jake Johansson, Vivica A. Fox from Booty Calls coming up. You got to see her. Stick around.